Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to day five. You guys are doing awesome. Uh, let's just recap a little bit about what we've been doing already this week, you guys. I just wanna give you guys a huge high five. We've made a lot of, lot of progress. So far we've identified our interests and our skills. Um, so that way we can find out more about what we like and who our marketplace is. And we've researched a little bit about what our marketplace is and what people are looking for, what our customers are talking about, what we can offer them to help them solve their problems. Um, so they'll get into conversation with us. So that's been kind of exciting. Um, and then we've learned already, you guys, how to explore Canva and how to create your very own free content, which I bet you never knew you could do. Um, and you, I'm sure you looked at other people and thought, how is it that they're able to create interesting content and now you know the secret is out which is really fun we've showed you a little bit about setting up an autoresponder specifically <laughs> aweber of course there's other autoresponders out there but we both like aweber that's what we're using and so that's what we're teaching from on this class so if you have a different autoresponder it's okay um, definitely follow their instructions on how to get that set up but if you have not had an autoresponder you know, I would recommend Aweber. It's pretty simple. If someone like me who's technology afraid um, can do it, so can you. Um, and so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna start talking about building the funnel, which is the whole theme of this class and um, how to build a business without a website. We're getting to the juicy stuff, so yay, we're, we're loving this, right? Um, but first what I wanna do is I really want to um, kind of give you uh, a visual for what is a funnel exactly. Okay, what is a funnel exactly? So I wanna give you a visual of what the whole, the, even the word funnel is, right? The word funnel is like a little cone shape, right? It's a little cone and you usually pour something into it that has a little hole that leads into something bigger, right? But it's like, a, it's got this bigger opening and then it narrows down and it gets really specific into like where it's going and you can, Typically, you see that when it comes to cars or cooking or something like that. But it's an or, the 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 thing that you're funneling into this cone um, is going to become part of a bigger picture. You know, um, it's going to help the car run. It's going to help you make a cake. It's going to do something bigger for you. But it's got this pretty wide opening in order to like lead in something you know bigger and have it go down smaller and smaller and smaller into creating something more. So that's kind of what the picture of a funnel is. So in order to start the process of building your funnel, we have to define what is the path that we're leading people on. Where are we taking them? What is the bigger picture for you? And for the sake of this class, we're defining that bigger picture as your email list. And your email list is going to be the place where you're creating an environment for your perfect customer to build that relationship with and to present them with offers, um, to present them to, with invitations, to present them with something that would benefit them and that would not feel sleazy or, 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 or salesy or spammy, or you could actually take whatever you're creating for them as a solution to their problem and give that to them. Okay, so that's what we're doing. That's what we're teaching you how to do. We're teaching you how to funnel them in to this bigger picture, which is then your email list. This is where you can share, you know, what your Facebook communities are about. This is where you can share what your programs and your offers are about. This is where you can, you know, share your stories of your life and start to build and cultivate a relationship. Um, and this is, this is where the magic happens. Okay. This is where the magic happens. And so this is what we're beginning drum roll, please. So, now that we've defined our path, our path is to the email list. Okay? Can we all agree on that? Um, and now that we've chosen that path, how are we going to get them to want to come inside the top of the funnel in order to get to the email list? And that's where we talked about we cre we're creating our free piece of content with Canva. And we base that off of our market research to find out what does our audience need to know, okay? And we're talking about something we're actually interested in, the skills we actually have. We're not, we're not making stuff up. We like actually like talking about whatever it is we're talking about. Because if you ever find yourself in a place where you're talking about something and you feel like, I have no idea what's going on, 
that you probably should not be there or you should do more research to find out what is it that you're talking about because um, you know, it's not going to be any fun. It's going to be stressful. <laughs> so uh, if your you know, freebie, if your free content is just simple as how to organize your kitchen cabinets, because you love organizing kitchen cabinets, totally cool. You can do that. <laughs> if you want to create something where you share free recipes with people on how to have a quick and easy breakfast, great. Do that. If you want to teach people how to create content for their social media, perfect. Create something that gives them what they want. Okay. And you will have time to, you know, think more about this, but what we want, we want you to do and expose you to, um, is, uh, how, uh, how you're going to funnel them into your email list. Okay. So if you're not aware of what could, what could happen or what is possible, then it's really hard to define what that means. Okay. So we want to show you, um, how we go about figuring out how to talk to the person and um, you know inviting them to take a look at our funnel and how and into our lists right and what images and, and graphics that we might use that would speak the language of the person you're trying to reach in order to attract them into talking to you so that's what we're going to share today with you guys and Brooke is going to show us um, some templates that we can use in order to um, start to build this this funnel, this piece that will cause your customer to click. Okay, so she's going to do a little screen sharing and show us how that works. Okay, let's see. <laughs> And over here, okay. So when you go in, you're gonna end up, oh no, that's not good. <laughs> and this is into, ML <laughs> into MLSP. Oh, thank you. I'm probably gonna have to start all over here. Okay, so you're gonna go to MLSP. We're gonna see if we can get in this time. You're gonna go log in. And we're gonna keep it basic. There are more advanced things that you can do with your funnels. We're gonna show you easy, simple ones that you can start doing now so you don't get stuck on the technical things if, you're, if you just want to learn um, how to actually get people into your email list. So we're going to start super basic. So my website's MLSP Funnelizer. Scroll all the way down here. I always hit to launch a new window, but my computer updated. So it's not going to do it on here, but typically it'll open into a new window for you. Um, so you have access to your links and things. Um, so here you can see I've already got some created and it'll show you all your different stats, your visitors, how many people actually opt in. And the more specific your funnel is, the fewer people that are actually going to click into it. So don't be scared if you see that a ton of people look at it and then don't go into it because that just means that you are identifying your specific target audience who are meant to come in and see um, that. So we go up here to create funnel. And the first thing you're gonna do is create a funnel name. So I tend, I love content creation um, and I'm actually working on a new freebie. So this is gonna be for um, my content creation map. So along with what you've got up there, you also have to create the slug. Now you can have spaces um, for your funnel name. This is specifically for you. No one else is going to see that. But down here, your funnel slug, um, once you create it, that's the permanent link. Um, and you can see some of mine have like dashes and oops, dashes and things in there. And that way, 
Um, you can actually space it out where people can read it. You can do different things with the capital letters. Um, you can make it however you want to. Uh, usually what I tend to do is stick with the, as long as the funnel name is short, I keep that as my slug. Oops, content creation creation. Mm -hmm. Map. And you'll see here, we can do the capital letters, we can do the dashes to make it more easily readable, but you cannot have spaces when you create the slug. And then over here, your domain name, that's whatever your username is. Um, so it'll be the original username. Like this is my original one. If you change your username, it'll be the original one always and forever. So then we go down here, create my funnel. And we're going to again, enter the page name. You can make yours specific or you can just keep writing the same thing over and over. That's usually what I tend to do. I don't like to make them super complicated um, because my goal is to get it out to people. And along the way, you can re-edit these, um, but it will change uh, the link itself. So it'll make any previous links with the original name invalid. So you can see through here, there are tons of different templates and you can do everything from a video to a picture to just simple words. Um, scroll down a little bit more. Uh, you get your sales pages and you get uh, places where you can put articles. You get all sorts of super fun things, but we are going to make this simple, easy, and painless because the process right now is to learn. So we're going to pick this one. Um, this is the typical one that I tend to pick specifically for my freebies. Um, and as you can see, it's called the giveaway opt-in pop-up. You'll go ahead and click use template. It'll give you a check mark to see that you can use it. And then we're gonna go up here, move Michelle a little bit down. <laughs> Scroll up a little bit more, okay. And then you can either save the page um, and come back to it later, or you can save and edit. So now, and my computer's a little older, so bear with it, please. Mm -hmm. um, things you want to keep in mind are the pictures that you created, um, you want something that can either be of you or goes along with whatever it is that you're doing. So like if you're creating recipes, you could show yourself um, holding a dish that you made or something like that. You could show a picture of a book of recipes, like you could print your freebie and show a picture of you holding it. Um, I've seen those. So you go here. Now the really cool thing about this editor is you can either Pick spaces to edit by clicking the different options on the side. You can see there's everything in here is able to be edited. Or you can click on these specific things and they will actually, I'm gonna have to move Michelle again. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we click on either best ebook or um, you can go into here and select it, but I tend to find it easier this way. You can pick your image. Now you will have to upload your image. Um, so you can upload it from Canva onto your computer. Um, if you're like me and you use your phone, I email them to myself, or if I have them on my Facebook, um, I can just pull it from Facebook onto here. Um, but either way, it's got to come into, it won't let you copy and paste. You got to save it into the editor. Um, and you can see these are some of my previous images that I've used. And you can see I've used Canva for several of them. Uh, my health blog, masterclass, just to make it look a little bit nicer. And obviously, you know, it's got my profile. It tells it exactly what it is. Um, super, super easy to do. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and pick a profile picture for this one because I have not created a Canva picture for it just yet. So select image. Okay. And then every time you do something, I suggest that you hit save changes because if your computer crashes, you get logged out, <laughs> um, anything, just, just save it. Save it. It'll stick around. Now, see this really weird, like wood grain looking background? You can actually change that image as well. Um, put me in. Okay, so background image is over here on the side. You click on that. And I will tell you that depending on which template you pick, it will mess a little bit with your picture because it's transparent and I'll show you using this. So I'm going to use, this is just a blank Canva design that I loaded on here. Um, I just thought it was pretty. And I tend to use that one as my background when I use these simple ones because this opt-in box is transparent, translucent, um, so you can see through. So if I had picked, for example, my profile picture to go back there, we'll just pick a different profile picture, it actually comes through like that. So just be mindful when you pick your picture um, of how it's going to affect uh, what you're doing. Now I will tell you this background image, when you send a link to someone with your funnel, the background image is the picture that will come up. So if you leave the yellow design board, whatever it is, um, that is what you will see. I like this little notebook because it pretty much goes with anything. Okay, so real quick up here. Up here you can either uh, select it like this. Sorry, my computer's really bright, so I can't see what I'm doing here. Dull this down a little bit. Here we go. Um, so this is a content creation map. Oh no, come back. Well, the downside of the white images. Ah, there it is. Content creation map. I'm just going to make this really simple. Um, you can put a call to action in that box and you can say, um, something along the lines of uh, learn how to pick content that you're going to use, anything like that. Um, don't have to make it super complicated though. I found the more basic funnels tend to be the easiest to do. Down here, we're gonna, instead of the top 10 reasons why your business is failing, um, something really super simple for this could be learn to map out your social media content and plan around your busy schedule. Just again, something super simple, does not have to be very wordy or anything like that. Um, the more simple it is, the more likely people seem to be to click into it. Um, uh, click below to access your information. And then again, you can click down here and there's more editing options. Obviously, we're not going to go over all the editing options, um, but go in here, click here for free instant access or whatever else you want to type. So we'll do get your free content. Yeah. Okay, so then when they click on that box, it's actually going to send them to a pop-up. Pop so this little thing, you click that, that'll bring up your pop-up. And again, you have the, op the same options. Put a picture in, we'll do change image. 
And you can do either the same picture that you had, or you can do another picture. It's your choice, your funnel. Enter your name and email address below to get instant access now. You can edit that if you would like, or you um, can leave it, it's up to you. Then you've got your form fields. So your form fields, you actually, um, you've got the name and you've got the email. You can choose other ones over here, the edit form fields. You can do, we've already got these, the email will always be a required field. You can choose phone number, consent checkbox, anything like that. I just tend to stay really basic. Again, because I want to spend more time on other things than <laughs> staying in Funnelizer all day. <laughs> um, and you can edit these down the line. Once you publish it, you can still edit. So we're going to save our changes. Now, when they go to enter their name and their email, they go and they hit this button. Um, get my content map. Now, well, um, copy tends to be a, a big thing when it comes to writing, but keep it really basic. But anything that's get my, get uh, me, my, I, anything like that, people are more likely to click on. So we've got that, save that change. And then, so it gives you another option when you scroll down here to integrations. So when you click on integrations, um, you guys won't already be in here. Um, let me show you real quick because you will have to add your integration first before you have that available. So before your integrations are available, you go up to settings and you go to integrations. And this is where you can add your Aweber account. Your MLSP will already be in there. So you'll go ahead, you'll click add new integration. And let me show again. And you can select an integration type. And they these are all the ones that it supports. So you'll pick whichever one it is that you're using. I already have Aweber selected in there. Um, so it's not going to show that as an option on here. But once you select it, it'll give you the chance, it'll give you another drop down with your Aweber list and you pick which list you want it to integrate with. So we're gonna back out of there. And it's a good thing I saved because I don't remember how to get back. Oh yeah, click on that, yep. <laughs> I'm like, wait, it's the funnelizer button. <laughs> And so because it's not published, it's going to be all the way down here. So we'll click it once. It gives you the option to edit. Pop back up. And unpublished changes, unpublished, that's fine. We go edit page. So once you have added the integration that you want, um, whatever email server you're using. You saw there are other options for Zoom and websites and all that stuff. Um, you go back to the view edit pop-up, click on this little button. Like I, I prefer to just click on the areas for it to come up here again. You can use this side, but this is just easier for me anyway. Um, and so when we scroll down and we go to edit integrations, then you will have your integrations available. Michelle should be getting dizzy over here. <laughs> <laughs> so add new integration and you put the drop down. And then if you're using Aweber or whatever integration you're using, you'll go ahead and select it. And then you select the integration point. Now it'll give you all your lists in here and you pick which list you want to add it to. Now I have currently a content planner that I use and I will probably just add it to this weekly planner list because it's along the same lines. And then once you put that, you're gonna hit refresh. Oh, sorry, you hit the button below that. Now what I will also do, 
Um, if you stick with MLSP or you are a current MLSP member and have a membership with us, I will also go to here to the MLSP and select that as a no label integration point. And the reason that I do this, and then you hit add new integration, the reason that I do this is if anything goes wrong um, with your funnels, with your links, you can actually track if it was an MLSP problem or an AWeber problem, you won't lose your contact because it'll either, whichever one malfunctioned, it'll end up in the other platform. Also, it gives you another way to track um, your people, your leads. So MLSP has a really good customer relationship manager, which we're not gonna teach you how to use, but this will allow you to also use that. So it gives you another tool that you can use to keep track of your leads and when you talk to them, contact them, anything like that. So now that that's all in there, we'll hit close. Um, if you choose to have this linked to um, something else, you can link it to something else. You can do a pop-up message. You can do a URL. So like if you want to link it to an MLSP campaign. So they're getting the way that we're doing our freebies. They're getting their freebie in their email. You can link it to an MLSP campaign if you choose, if it's something along the same lines, um, or you can uh, link it to another funnel. So like say you don't want to finish on this specific uh, pop-up, you can actually link it to another funnel where it's got more information, anything like that. Um, but for our purposes, we're just keeping it super simple and just sticking with Aweber and nothing fancy. We're going to move Michelle for the 50th time and <laughs> hit save changes. So now we're going to go ahead and hit publish changes. Now it's published, but it is not active yet. So we are going to go back into Funnelizer. And because it's not published, we're going to go all the way back down. We're going to click it, go to edit. And then in here, the funnel itself is created, but you need to start it to work. Um, you have other options. You can duplicate it, create, create other variations of it. We are sticking super, super simple, and we're just going to start this variation. Now the variation started, so that means it's active. And in order for people to access it, then you also have to one more time up here, hit publish funnel. And this tells you that it's running. So when you go over here, you can get your, your URL and go ahead. I always use the funnel URL. Copy that. We're going to open a new tab and go up here, paste and go. And there is your funnel shows everything. It's got my profile picture, my backdrop, my little pop-up box here. You click on get your free content map. Okay, so stuff like that happens, which means it's not active. So then we're gonna go back here and see what we're missing. There are so many different errors that you can get for this. It is crazy. There's a really cute one that says the gremlins have attacked. <laughs> and that means it's not published. <laughs> Just an FYI. So, oh, I know what I did. So click on get your free content map. You have to scroll all the way down here to, there should be an action. Okay. Open pop-up. Aha. Save changes because remember we've got that pop-up that we created for them to put their email. So save changes, publish. Now because your page is already published, you don't have to go back out of there. You can stay there. Come back over here, click again. Now listen. <laughs> Uh, 
It's because we're recording it. <laughs> <laughs> just remember, guys, we're just showing you an overview of what's possible. We'll go, th we'll go step by step through this process another time, but we just wanted to show you what this looks like. Um, and so you can see how to actually build a, a, a business without a website and, and using these little, um, these little funnels. Open view pop up. Why don't you want to work? Do you have to go back through funnel funnelizer and republish it? I shouldn't. Let me go back and take a look here. That's what I was doing with mine, but I don't know if that I needed to. I just did. So we go down here. Oh, content creation map right here. It says one person clicked on it. So there's something fishy going on because it's registering my click. Mm -hmm. It's just not opening. We got you, got you. My integrations are in there. They are in there. Close, select action. I don't wanna do a funnel page though. That's why I had, I had to do that with mine, but I don't know if that's Maybe they changed it since the last one I made. Maybe re-enter the link and see if that works. Yeah. There we go. That's what it was. It was a refresh. <laughs> Perfect. So gremlins do attack. They do. <laughs> Never fear. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably just a, a refresh of the screen. Well, that's very cool. Isn't that cool, you guys? I think that's super cool. We're definitely, we're just showing you what this looks like because we want you to start to plan out what yours is going to look like. Um, and we want to show you how we go about um, collecting media, images, thinking about your copywriting, and um, you know how to language that attracts people to you okay um, so do you want to share a little bit Brooke on how you come up with language or what you put into your funnels that helps to speak to that person who might want your content planner yeah definitely so a lot of the things I say um, come from go away come from can you see that? Mm -mm. Is it still in the funnel? Yep. Okay, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe I do need this. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> so a lot of the words that I use um, are based on doing research in my area. So for one, you want to know some of the trigger words. Content just happens to be something that I love learning about, love talking about and doing, and I'm sure everyone gets tired of hearing it, but you know, it's something I love, so it's all good. But um, so 
to learn what it is that you want to say to attract people towards you, you want to go in and see what other people are talking about. So in the context of my content uh, map, it, that actually came about because I had something else that I created, a content creation planner, and people started asking for something else. They were saying that the planner is great, but they needed to know what to create. Not when to create it, but what. So learning from talking with other people is a really great way to figure out what it is that you want to say. And there are key words that help you. There are trigger words that help you with your funnel. Um, me, my, now. Uh, free can be a trigger word or it can be a word that people run away from. So just be careful with that. Uh, but the more honest you are, the better it is for you anyway. Mm -hmm. um, me, my, now, free, instant. So these are like trigger words that you can use in your funnel. So when you're talking about what it is that your freebie is in the couple words that you share in your sentence, you want to have some action words that go into um, the actual funnel. So click, join, uh, get access. Um, so action words are really good. Anything that triggers someone to do something. You want a call to action in there because someone can read something and they understand that it's for something. So like if I had created my planner and it just said, hey, I have this planner and this is what it is, but it doesn't say that someone can get it. They don't know they can. Mm -hmm. Maybe they haven't interacted with a funnel before. Maybe they don't know that you're giving it away. Whatever it is, you wanna make sure you have a call to action in there that says, you can get this, you can have this, this is yours. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite things that I do in a couple of mine is gift. People love the word gift because it's something for them. It makes them feel special. So touching those emotions is a strong point. Um, so gift is a really good word to use. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think of some other words. Gift, click, link, join. Subscribe. Mine. Subscribe. Subscribe. Any of these action words. Mm -hmm super, super nice to have them for people to see. And then when you're creating the actual uh, copy for your, sorry, I'm getting used to using all this stuff. Um, so when you're creating the actual copy for in here, so super basic. Usually you want to stick around like a third grade level. You don't want to go too advanced from there because you want people to understand what it is you're saying. You don't want big words. You don't want people to just kind of look at it um, and maybe not understand it because they don't tend to read as much, whatever it may be. So super simple for up here. You can do a call to action up here. You're when you create the content um, right in this section, one or two sentences usually is the most that you wanna do. So just be very clear, you know, obviously this is for social media. Um, it's, to, it's a map, so they can map out their content and they can plan it around their busy schedule. So, and the reason I do your is because I want them to take ownership. I want them to feel like they already have it. Mm -hmm. um, so just simple, simple triggers mm -hmm. that you can use. Yep. Oh, let's see. And then when you go into here, um, again, simple. I wouldn't do more than one sentence right here. Mm -hmm. um, in the 30-day group that we are going to do, 
if you choose to do that, we can show you the more advanced funnels. We can show you where you've got, um, where you can put articles, testimonials. You can write out an entire, um, see if it'll let me get into there, where you can write out an entire paragraph or um, put in videos. Yeah, we'll move back in. Um, a sales page. <laughs> Yes, sales page. So there are different ways you can use it. You don't always have to do something that's free. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually get sales specifically from your funnel and we can show you how to do that as well. Mm -hmm. um, so ideas to work with and to think about are what you want to accomplish with this, what your end goal is um, and stuff that you love because that's going to be easy for you to work with. If it's something that you love to do, you're interested in, it's something that you use on a daily basis, whatever it is, um, that's going to make it more, more ownership for you. You're going to feel a better connection to what you're doing and have a better way to write it. So um, your task today is to identify your perfect customer, um, where you're leading them, what you want to have in the end, um, and start choosing your media, your pictures, what you wanna do. I suggest taking um, some pictures throughout the day of things that you do, maybe with your family, um, or if you like hiking, fishing, whatever it is, take some pictures. Um, so we can use those to create some nice images and then those we will use to help you attract your audience in. So, and tomorrow we will actually set up your own funnel. And at least now you've got kind of an idea if you wanna play with it, you are more than welcome to, but tomorrow we will go in how to do all of the things. Yes, yeah. Um, I wanted to show you guys a little bit, um, some ideas on how you can also um, find your free images if you wanted to, if you didn't have a collection of photos you were taking um, and some ideas on how I actually um, create ideas for the language that I use in my own copywriting. Um, so I'll have Brooke go off of her screen share. I think I can do my screen share right now, right? How do um, I? I think you, or I do mine. Pause share? Oh, I just did it. Okay. I got it. Cool. Okay. So as you're thinking about what you're going to create yourself and you've heard, you know, you've seen Brooke building out the, the funnel and what's possible. Um, and you know that what you're doing tomorrow, sorry, my, my messenger is blowing up. So you know what you're doing for tomorrow. You know that you're going to start to think of the ideas that we've already talked about, things you're interested in, and the, you know, the freebie that you can create. So as you're thinking about all of these things, um, what do you want that to look like? Okay, you've got a collection of pictures that you've taken that Brooke was mentioning. Um, maybe you don't have some pictures. So I, would, I just wanted to show you an option if you don't have pictures. I like to use Pixabay and Pixabay actually has, um, you can create an account with Pixabay to get some free images and um, as Brooke was talking about, you want to start to create a look for what your brand looks like, what, like so people can start to recognize you. Um, if you were to join us um, past these 10 days, uh, we would also give you access to some branding training. So don't worry, this is something that is available to you for later. Um, but we just want to give you an overview of what's out there and what you can actually do. If we can't see what's possible, then we don't know what we can do. So we just wanna show you what is possible and how you can actually do this, right? It's not hard at all. Um, and it doesn't cost you anything. So if you look at this Pixabay is free, and so say you wanted to find an image to, you know, to convey your message, you know, saying something like, if, I might choose this image or maybe this image to invite them to the content planner, or I could choose this image or, you know, whatever the case is, I could find something that I really like, like maybe I want this, you know? Um, so I would, I would save these images and then like, like Brooke showed us to upload the image into MLSP 
um, for the funnelizer so that you can then use that those as your own graphics in order to make an attractive image to get people to click on the give me access now or your free you know click to, to subscribe join now whatever your call to action might be you can you can choose free images if that's something that you would rather do you can see I use this one all the time right here and I have like images I like to use on a repetitive basis um, and they're free which is really great um, some other ways that you can figure out like what do people want to know and how to come up with language in order to you know um, attract people to click on your link is to subscribe to people's email lists that are in your space in your marketplace um, so like let's say you are promoting some social media stuff and you find some people that you like to follow and you might subscribe to their email list to see what they're talking about what is their audience looking for what are they um, wanting to know so you can see here she says helping you create success faster while building a lifestyle you love um, she says something like um, this will help you get momentum and start 2009 2019 with a kick so you can kind of see there's some like key words that people are talking about and key phrases um, like if you know in health and wellness I subscribe to um, clean food crush and so I might look through some of the language she's using um, in order to our best meal prep makes made easy sale okay so I might look and see how is she talking to her audience how is she talking to them to get them to click on her link to buy what she's selling and that'll give me an idea about what to create for a freebie and it'll also give me an idea about how to present it how to say it really easily um, on my funnel so I think I hopefully these are some really good overview ideas for you to um, you know to think about um, how can I do this here whoops <laughs> did I lose everybody Hold on a second. Stop screen share. There we go. Um, hopefully that gives you guys some ideas on how you can start to brainstorm and research and think about what is your defined path and how are you going to lead them there? You know, going through the, the lessons that we've already gone through with you on identifying, you know, what are your skills and talents? Um, what is your marketplace wanting? what can you create to solve that problem for them and once you do and you create that free piece of content now you've seen Brooke show you how easy it is to plug that into the simple little funnel and yeah we had a little bit of like you know figuring out and glitchiness but like it's it's really not hard um, what you're going to see there before we get into tomorrow we'll show you a little bit more about how the funnelizer actually has step by step by step by step by step instructions on how to set up your funnel like we've shown you it's very simple and we're going to show you even more clearly in our own words on how to set up your actual funnel but then you can also look at the instructions that are in the mlsp training and they've got it broken down even further i mean just step by step by step by step by step so um we didn't want to <laughs> bog you down with all of those details the main idea here is for you to define your path and what are you leading them to so i hope that this is triggering some ideas where you're like yes i know that i'm really good at you know creating a, ch um, a household chore schedule and how to help people to um not feel overwhelmed every single day or how to get your kids to help tidy up the house or um here are some you know uh some some meal plans for your week you know how to create freezer meals something that would attract somebody into your conversations that you're having in your email list okay so we're excited for you to um so think about this now that you've had you've had the exposure you've seen what's possible and you know what you can do yourself um, I well I want you just to take this momentum you're feeling right at this moment get your notebooks out 
and start writing out all of your ideas, every single idea you ever have, and start creating a habit of every time you have an idea where you're like, ooh, I could teach this, ooh, I could teach this, ooh, I could teach this. And it doesn't mean you have to do it right at that moment, it just means write out your idea so that you have an endless supply for possibilities that you could write about in your emails and content that you could give away for free. So, thanks everybody, this was really fun. And I can't wait for day six tomorrow, right? <laughs> All right, everybody, we'll see you next time. Bye.